Let me ask you a question. If a heavier car has more grip, does it corner better than a lighter car? I'm Nikki from Last Tenth, and I'm here to tell you all about tire load sensitivity and how that answers that question. At the end of the video, I'm gonna scientifically bust open a common myth. So stay tuned and let's go. Have you ever noticed that when you press something onto a surface, such as a road, it makes it harder to slide? This is because of friction. And objects have something called a coefficient of static friction. What it tells us is how hard it is to make an object slide. The harder it is to make it slide, the higher the coefficient of static friction. But what's important here is that typically the coefficient of friction is constant, meaning that if you press twice as hard onto the surface, it will require twice as much force to make the object slide. Rubber tires, on the other hand, are weird. They don't behave that way. Their friction coefficient is not constant. It actually decreases with more weight. So in other words, the more weight you put on a tire, the less grip per weight it has. And that's important because like power to weight, you wanna have a high grip to weight ratio to maximize performance. If you look at a chart of grip versus weight, the more weight you add, the less grip you'll gain. Conversely, reducing weight will improve the tire's grip per weight ratio. That's why anytime there's load transfer, the car loses grip. And if you haven't seen my video on load transfer, you can check it out here or through the link in my description. As a side note, as drivers, if you eliminate unnecessary load transfer, you will have more average grip, which means you can corner faster. And that is tire load sensitivity how sensitive a tire's grip is to the changing weight that's on the tire. When you understand tire load sensitivity, one thing becomes clear, lighter is always better. That's why racing regulations mandate minimum car weight. It's to make sure that you don't make fast cars that are light but flimsy. So to answer the original question, a heavier car is better at cornering is a total myth. It's incorrect and here's a simplified way to show you why. We know the lateral force of a car during cornering is equal to mass times acceleration, or F equals MA. Written another way, the lateral acceleration, A, is equal to force divided by mass. By the way, mass and weight actually mean different things, but in this context, we can kind of think of them as the same. Since the lateral force is equal to the amount of grip a car can produce, a lighter car with higher grip to weight ratio can achieve higher lateral acceleration than a heavier car. We also know a car cornering at velocity V with a corner radius R will have lateral acceleration that is V squared over R. Since a lighter car can achieve higher lateral acceleration than a heavier car, it can go faster in the same corner or go the same speed in a tighter corner. Ah. So next time when you go karting with your lighter buddy and he's doing slower lap times than you, it's not because you have more grip, it's because your buddy's slow. Make sure you tell them that. And there you have it, myth busted and lighter is always better. Always. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more, please like and subscribe and leave in the comments what you would like to hear me talk about next. Oh, and by the way, here's a video on load transfer I told you about. Finally, keep sending it and I'll see you next time.